Hello, my name is Eric Diemer, and I'm happy to be the founder of Might Fight. First and foremost, I want to thank you for subscribing to my service and helping me help you help your bees in their fight against the Varroa destructor mite. I'm happy to help you with any questions that you might have about my service or about beekeeping. Um, my success comes when your bees survive winter and thrive all summer long. So please feel free to reach out to me with any comments or questions. All right, so let's talk about what we've got in this season's uh, spring mite fight box. Um, so as always, uh, we strive to have 100% recyclable packaging. This time around, the, all, all the packaging is recyclable with the exception of the packaging of the miticide itself. And I'll talk more about that in a minute. So let me uh, get my knife. We got it all wrapped up here. I'm gonna open it up so we can see what we got. All right. So, here we are. <laughs> I do want to uh, tell you up front that this season's miticide is Appy Life Var. It comes in a yellow envelope like this, a yellow sachet, and it is very fragile. Please be careful. Um, in here is basically two saltine cracker type things, uh, wafers, and they're very, very fragile. Uh, so this is really a package of dust because I was not as careful as I needed to be. Um, so please, as you're going through your box, don't jumble around the yellow envelopes too much until you get to the apiary. Uh, that'll help you out later. Um, as always, I include the information, so I have a little thank you card to my Might Fighters. Um, and then, as well, in here I, I always include the uh, information sheets that are provided by the miticide manufacturer. Uh, I do want to let you know that these are a little outdated, not that the information's wrong, um, it's just that these were made in 2017. Uh, so you'll see one of these pamphlets talks about how this should be used as a fall treatment. We're going to use it in the spring because in those years since, there have been much better miticides that have been invented um, for the use in the fall. So we're using Apilife Var in the spring. I have instructions for use, which is a one sheet. Uh, this is the same information that I'm going to talk about in the video here, but just if you're a, a visual reader and learner instead of someone who enjoys a video. And then there is also a, um, another product info sheet that talks a little bit about thymol and the efficacy of Life Far. So I include that because I think what's fun about this service is that I get to include as much information and detail um, that I can come up with. All right, so we'll talk more about Life Var in a minute, but the next thing you'll find in your box that we're unpacking. We got our thank you and our other information. The next thing you're going to find is we have these Pro DFM packets. If you are a subscriber from last year, you'll still remember these. I love Pro DFM. It is, uh, it, it's basically a honeybee probiotic. So it's, it's basically like a digestive yogurt or a kombucha, but for your bees. Um, I call it magic powder, uh, which is probably not the right thing to say, but I really like having this stuff around. It has a, a multi-year shelf life, so if you don't think that there's any digestive issues with your bees right now, um, keep the packets, because if you get a nucleus colony brought into your operation, some Pro DFM might really help them out after you introduce them to the hive. Um, or a package, or a swarm, or you're just inheriting some bees from a neighbor. Pro DFM is really good for when you are transporting, or um, the bees are coming out of winter. I do want to tell you, and it says so on the back. Um, don't. It, it's recommended to not use Pro DFM within two weeks of another treatment for either Nosema foul brood or Varroa mites. So. When you get your mite fight box, 
keep these packets to the side unless you, you notice that your hive has nosema and is struggling with it. Um, unless that's the case, use your mite treatment first and save these for after the mite treatment is done. Or you could just save them for, like I said, whenever you're transporting a, a hive. Um, so I talked about to, to wait. Like I said, I, I think this expires in 2024. So you have many years to, uh, to use it. And it's stable at shelf at, at, um, at room temperature. Um, ooh, next in our Mike Fight box, we have our queen catching clips. I love these so much. These are some of my favorite tools. They come in a box like this. Uh, and you can scan the packaging with our AR Launchpad app. That is the other video included in this email. Uh, in our box, we have a two pack of these queen catchers. I love them so much. I keep them in my bee jacket and in the car and at the apiaries. Basically what you do is when you have a frame uh, and you're doing a, a beehive inspection and you pull out a frame and there's the queen and you know you want to continue inspecting the colony, what you can do, take the, the catcher, clip the queen in this little, uh, little catcher here and um, basically what happens is the queen is protected in here. Excuse me. So you can move it to the side, continue your inspection, and when you're done, just release her back into the hive. Uh, they're also really helpful if you're doing splits where the queen is being moved from one hive to the other. So keep these around and keep them in mind. Once you get used to using them, you'll, you'll probably use them every, every time you go into the hives. So those are our queen catchers. That's my little gift to you for uh, this season. Um, all right, and definitely don't remember, don't forget to let her out. Um, once you put the queen in there, you want to make sure when you're done, you put her back in the hive because that's a big time bummer. Um, all right, last thing we have in our box is, let me see if I can find it. Here we are, our Appy Life Bar, and again, they're very fragile, so you want to be very ginger. Don't bend, don't shake, don't crush. Um, so there is a, a, a little a little bit of weird math that goes with this. Uh, this is a three dose application, and it takes about a month. So you you need three wafers per colony. Each yellow sachet contains two wafers. So you need one and a half sachets um, to do one colony. Um, what you'll do is when you get this box, you're gonna open it up, get your first sachet, bring it up to the apiary. You wanna use all the proper PPE. Um, anytime that you're using a miticide that I send to you, it is important to wear the proper PPE. I'll talk about it every video. For this miticide, all you need is disposable latex or rubber or vinyl gloves, uh, just to protect your, your hands and your skin from contact with the thymol. Um, and of course, as always, with all of beekeeping, wear as much of a beekeeping suit as you need to feel comfortable. Some people like a jacket, like myself. Other people are happy with a veil. Others need a full suit. Whatever you need to be comfortable, you have to do, and and don't be self-conscious about it. Um, you know, you'll see people online who are working hives with no no protective equipment. That's good for them, but that does not work for me. Um, so you have to do what you need to do. Like I said, they're very fragile. So what you'll do when you're up at the apiary, you're going to open the packet, take the one wafer, break it into quarters. So that's four pieces. And then you're going to take one of those four pieces and put them in the corners of the hives, uh, on top of the bars of the hives. So um, you don't want to go into the middle where the brood is. You want to put it in the corners. That way it vaporizes inside the hive and the bees have the opportunity to pick at it and remove it. First wafer goes in right when you get your box. You'll want to apply it in the evenings when uh, the hive is warm, but cooling back down for the night. The foragers are returning back to the colony. 
you'll put in your first wafer and you'll close up the hive. You'll wait seven to 10 days, come back, remove the old stuff, put in a second wafer, again, break it into quarters, put it in the, the corners and you'll wait another seven to 10 days and you'll come back, you'll remove the old stuff, put in your last third wafer, so that'll be from your second sachet, and then you'll wait uh, 10 to 12 days to finish out that last treatment. Once you're done, you can remove everything. Um, the, like I said, the whole thing takes about a month. Once you're completed, you can remove all that stuff, and, and now you can put your honey supers back on. Uh, since Appy Life Bar is a thymol based product, it is recommended to have honey supers removed during the duration of this process. Um, so since it's springtime, I recommend you do your splits um, and get queens in there or let them make their own queens and then do this mite treatment. That way in a month when you're done with the treatment, you can have supers on and really cash in on the, all the, the nectar flow that we're experiencing. I do want to add one side comment. This is not recommended. Um, I, I encourage everyone to follow all the directions that are included. I will say that if your operation is heavily dependent on the production of honey and you are nervous about not collecting honey for a whole month, I recommend, uh, all right, I, I I recommend you do the whole three time treatment, the three applications, but if you are hesitant, just do two of the three applications. That's considered a knockdown treatment, not a full treatment. So what it'll do is it'll get rid of the excess mites in the colony. Um, it might get rid of all of them, but chances are doing two of the three treatments will leave some residual mites. Since you're a mite fighter, I know that within two months you'll be doing another application. So uh, we can catch those mites on the second time around. Um, but that's only if you have a second year colony who is producing and bringing in nectar and you need to put supers on uh, to give them the space they need and because your operation requires the production of honey. Um, otherwise, three applications, you're done in a month and it's really easy. Um, like I said, uh, these three applications can get a little confusing. So when you get your box, mark, mark your calendar and say first application today, a week later, second, second application, uh, seven to 10 days later, third application, and then you gotta just wait another 10 to 12 days and you are done. This, this treatment sets your hive up right for the whole year. Um, so you definitely wanna be attentive and pay attention and follow the procedure. Um, I'm just checking up on my notes here. Yeah, so if you have any questions or comments, please reach out to me. Um, even if you just need some beekeeping advice or someone to run an idea past, I would be more than happy to help you. Uh, like I said, my success comes with your success. So um, yeah, definitely touch base with me if you need any help and uh, we can talk about what your bees are working on. And uh, that is the Appy Life VAR how-to video. And uh, thank you for becoming a Mite Fight subscriber. Take care, happy beekeeping.